This is the Painted Devil Crayfish. A crayfish with bold coloring compared to other freshwater crayfish, it's a rare crayfish that is typically seasonal and breeds in the fall. It comes to us from the state of Missouri in the United States. The Painted Devil is not too common in local pet shops. I have actually only seen them one time in the time that I've been in the hobby. And of all crayfish out there in the hobby, I'd say this is my favorite behind the dwarf crayfish. It comes in different variations of blues and greens and reds, but the reason why I like this crayfish is that the blues and the greens and the reds are very bold, and they contrast nicely against each other. They don't really have a set pattern, but as you can see, they look pretty cool from claw to tail. Now the painted devil crayfish is pretty easy to care for, but there are definitely some important things that you gotta know when keeping this crayfish. And the first thing that you've got to know and understand is that the crayfish eat fish. One of the most frequently asked questions I have ever gotten on my channel is do crayfish eat fish or can you keep crayfish with other fish and other animals? Long story short, if you keep anything, this means frogs, fish, snails, smaller crayfish, shrimp, if you keep anything with a crayfish, your crayfish will eventually catch it and eat it and they'll often eat it alive. So don't put your fish through that and only keep crayfish with other compatible crayfish around the same size, and this also goes for aquatic plants. Freshwater vegetation actually makes up half of the crayfish's diet, so if you put a plant in the crayfish's tank, you can expect that to be eaten as well. When it comes to the tank setup for the Painted Devil Crayfish, it's quite different than your typical setup. Ideally, you want a long tank, something like a 20 gallon long. A 33 gallon long will actually be the perfect size, but any long style tank will do. And the reason why you want a long tank is because the crayfish is what is called a primary burrower. And what that means is that it spends most of its life in burrows that it digs, that in some cases can reach several inches to several feet down. These barrels do reach below the waterline, but the top of the entrance of these barrels are above the waterline, which means that you'll have to set up a tank with a 75% water level and leave the rest open so that your crayfish can come up and out of the water as it does in the wild. Now, aquariums are usually pretty tall, and if you leave the top without water, it looks kind of odd, but if you have a long tank, that open space is a lot smaller while still providing the open space. The Painted Devil typically lives in dirt. Now, whether you actually want to set up a dirt tank, which actually is a thing, it's pretty popular with aquatic plants, that's up to you. It will give your crayfish a more natural environment and it can make it more comfortable, but if the water line is above the dirt, it can get really murky and clog your filters. So because of this, I wouldn't really recommend the crayfish to a beginner in the hobby. It'd be more for someone who has experience in how water interacts with different substrates like dirt and how to maintain them. However, technically the crayfish has gills and can survive its whole life underwater if needed. And because it can breathe underwater, you can actually keep it in a tank with a setup that doesn't exactly replicate the natural environment, but can come pretty close. So what you can do is start out by placing the large decorations in your tank, something like a large piece of driftwood or rock, something with holes or indents would be best. Place this in the tank before the substrate and try to keep the decorations on the edge closest to your view. If keeping multiple crayfish, you're gonna need at least one of these decorations for each crayfish. Once you've placed the decoration in the tank, go ahead and add your substrate, but double up on the amount that you're using. Try to cover up the decorations entirely and keep the substrate on that side higher than the other side. Now, the whole purpose of placing this decoration before the substrate is so that the crayfish have something to hold up the substrate as they dig. My guess is that you'll use sand or gravel which look nice, but you can't really dig a hole in them like you can with mud. If you don't have something to hold up that sand or gravel, your crayfish will try to burrow but just end up moving around the sand. Eventually your crayfish will end up making a burrow that leads to the bottom of that decoration and hopefully it's visible. This again is why you place it in the front of the tank where you can observe your cray. Now, the reason why you want to leave the opposite side open is so that you can install a submerged filter for your water and heater if you live somewhere cold. The Painted Devil Crayfish will do fine in a neutral pH of around 7 to 6 and 8 is okay. And with a temperature in between 65 to 78, 
now when it comes to feeding the painted devil crayfish, they pretty much eat everything. Decaying vegetation makes up most of their diet, so I'd recommend placing some green veggies like cucumbers and peas somewhere where your cray likes to hang out and see how they like it. But don't leave it over a day as it'll start to go bad and smell bad and grow bacteria. You can also buy cheap aquatic plants when you hit up the pet store. Something like anacharis is super cheap and you can just leave it in the tank. It won't die right away and you can just leave it in and your crayfish will eventually get to it. But another thing to keep in mind is that the painted devil crayfish is primarily nocturnal. So if you don't see it active or eating during the day, there's no need to worry as long as you're placing your food in before you hit the lights off, you should be okay. The painted devil crayfish can make for a great, bold looking addition to your tank, but it might be a little challenging to get the setup just right. But with a little practice and some experience, you'll find that the reward of keeping the painted devil crayfish for yourself can quite be worth the challenge.